Hi everybody, welcome to today's workout. Let's go ahead and march on that right foot. Today is a low impact hit workout, but instead of athletic moves, we are doing dance based moves. So if you'd like to dance, but you also like a little hit training, this is perfect. All right, so we are gonna start our timer. We have five seconds. We're gonna start with Mambo Front Back, or sometimes called a rock step. So we have 50 seconds of work, 15 seconds to change the move. We have 12 moves. We'll do them on the right lead, and then take a little break, do them on our left lead. So, all in all, this will be about a 30 minute workout today. You can embellish these dance moves however you want. Bigger arms, maybe you even add a little hip twist. Whatever makes you feel you are in your groove today. Great job. Number one is done. All right, walk it out on that right foot. I'm gonna back up. Next move, four ponies front, step touch, take it back. Ponies front, four, and step touch. Do big arms. Step touch, go back. You can do the Broadway arms here.
yourself a little travel room. Next move, great find, right left. Let's go. Any arms you like, I might add a little direction on this, so I'm keeping my arms pretty simple. You're welcome to stay side to side on one line. We're going to angle forward and up and back. Up and back. And up and back. Again.
painting, and this may be the person. So, Daisy the watchdog is on guard. Let's do one more. March right foot. All right, the next one. Step, heel. Now we can do a number of fun arms with this. I'm also going to add a little bit of a hop into the foot that I place down. Not the heel, but the step. So I could do a little paddle arms. I could do a little reach and pull. I could cross it over a little bit more. Or I could keep it straight ahead. Oh, never mind. Daisy was working at a UPS truck. Not at the house, but nearby. You can always count on her to interrupt a filming, but we love our dogs, so it's okay. Great job. March out. This is our 12th and final move. It's a little quick step style. Kick, kick, side, center, close. Kick, kick, out, in, close. This will switch from side to side. Right, left, out, in, close. Now, you can also add a cha-cha-cha. Out, in, one, two, three. Out, in, one, two, three. Or just close your feet. Remember, we get a little break after this exercise. Sip of water. I'm going to check on the beagle, who is yet again sleeping out in the backyard because we have really spring-like weather today. It's nice and warm and sunny. One more. All right, I will pause the timer. Also going to speed us up a little bit for the next round on our left. Let me check for the doggy. Um, he's kind of just standing there. He's not doing too much. Don't worry about that timer. We're going to let it go. Everything the same. Numbers 1 to 12, except we'll start on our left lead. Okay, I'm going to restart the timer. All right, are you ready? We have five seconds. Let's go ahead and get that march on your left, right. First move is that rock step or mako front back. So we are just a few feet faster right now than we started. Remember when you are doing timed intervals, you don't even have to use the music. If you want to do these twice as fast, go right ahead.
march on your left foot. Here is that cross mambo. I'm sorry, I'm wrong. Straight front, mambo cha-cha-cha. Left foot first. Front, back, one, two, three. Remember your option to just close your feet and switch. This one can definitely be a little bouncy if you want it to be. If I'm doing all low impact, I'm going to step it out. If I want to make it bouncy, front, back with a little soft jaw like move. Left foot march, back it up. This is the hustle. One, two, three. Plain tap on the floor. We'll change to some angle in a bit. Take it up. Straight forward and back. One more set. Let's angle it this direction. And if that doesn't work with your space, just stay going front and back. Put up to 
across. Let's do one more. Left foot march. This time it is cross mambo and a little slider cha cha cha. Now, if you are limited on space, just make sure maybe that slide is more of a cha-cha-cha, or if you don't like either of those, you just step. One, two, hold. One, two, hold. Lots of options. So if you've got room to move, this is a fun one. You can really make it big. Keep your knees softly bent. That will give you more range of motion and help you feel more stable on those quick steps and the quick direction changes. One more. March left, back it up. Long Charleston, it is a hustle. Ends in a knee at the front and a tap at the back. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, tap. Now I've added in that little step hop at the front.
really help here if you do that little cha-cha-cha. Kick, kick, out, in, cha-cha-cha. We will pause for a sip of water and then we will enter into a quick cool down phase. Little bit of low end cardio and some standing dynamic stretches. Do one more. Great job, everybody. Walk it out. Please keep your feet moving. Get a sip of water here. We're going to bring our pace back down a little. And I'm going to check on the beagle. Oh my goodness. Laying in the sun, in the mulch, having a great time. Right foot march. All right, let's start bringing it down. So our effort level here, maybe 60%, 65% of what we might put into our heavy duty cardio session. Just nice and easy, smaller moves. Four more, we'll just incorporate a few of the moves we did in the hit training today. Now hustle, right foot will start. Easy. One more. Step, heel. Pulling out that hop. Now if you feel you want to keep doing that higher energy move, by all means, you go right ahead. Just always try to bring the heart rate down over Especially if you really work hard in those cardio sessions, give yourself one or two minutes to bring it down. Now, seven more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now march on your left foot. Hope you got that transition. Rock step, front and back. These three moves, and then we go to our stretches. I'm not going to do long holding stretches, just dynamic range of motion. Let's do four more here. Three, two, ready for the hustle. Left. Take that heel up, pelvic tuck. Bring those hands like we're 
just tapping our fingers behind our head to open up the shoulders. If that is uncomfortable, you could do a scarecrow. You could bring those arms behind you. Four, three, two. Now, hamstring stretch, shift back. Just lift up, take an inhale. <sighs> Sit back. Stand up, turn all the way around, toe heel down. You will have your right leg in that half stretch. Lift that heel up, pelvic tuck, and lower and lift. So we're either in scarecrow, this is called prisoner, or you can have that little chest expansion position. Keep your gaze straight ahead. Two and one. Sit back, hamstring. Push back. Shoulders roll, chest forward. Lift up, proud chest here. Big inhale, and sit back one more time. Come on up, turn front, we'll square everything up. Feet under the hips, big inhale. Exhale, half a swan dive if you do some yoga. Just halfway down. Now you can spinal roll up or you can open up with a long spine. Roll those shoulders, let's do that one more time. Inhale, arms up. Swan dive, forward fold. And either spinal roll or you keep that long extended spine and then roll. All right, everybody, that's it. Hope you had fun today. I will see you next time.